Hello everyone. Hope you're doing well. I thought I would come on here and show you um, something that I tried out and I think it works real good. But um, I had it on my Facebook group and also in a couple of classes. This is something that a dear friend sent me at Christmas. I believe she got it from Amazon. They're cardinals. What I want to talk to you about is the mat. This is a Cricut mat and it's real sticky. Instead of having to deal with magnets, they get in the way. They do for me. I use a Cricut mat and this is what it looks like when it's not been cut. So you can see, you know, you have to cut it down. I found them on sale. I think there were three for um, right before Christmas. There were three of them in a pack for $6. I think it's going to work out great. This is the only thing I had left over when I cut it. But let's... Uh, and also... I cut a little something out and put it on here because when you lay this thing down, it's hard to find. So you need something on it. And, you know, you can use stickers. You can use anything like that that you want. But uh, I just turn it upside down and put it to the side. But let's get a piece of paper there. Now look at the position. Is what I'm going to do is I'm going to use die cuts once I get this stamped out and I'll put my die cuts on here and they'll work real well. Okay. It's not going anywhere. So now what I'll do is I'm going to slide that down some. So I'm going to use, I'm going to stamp it and I'm going to um, emboss it. But we'll get a good stamp out of it. Sorry, I know I'm off the camera. I know you can't see this, but I'm just putting ink on the stamp. And that's a little light, so I'm going to stamp it again. And this way you can see that, uh, that there's no double stamping. Or double image, I should say. You can do this as many times as you like. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And I'll bring it up so you can see it. There's no double image. So let's go ahead and get this. about right here. That'll work. It's a uh, clear plastic and I can cling this later.
And the reason I emboss is I'm not sure what I want to do. If I want to use um, alcohol markers or if I want to use watercolor. I'm just not sure. So I'm going to emboss it. And uh, it will... It'll take anything then. Now, I had already took powder and hit my paper with it to keep the embossing powder from sticking all over it. Let's see if I got any on this. They might be a little bit. Not much. And all this is is clear embossing powder. It is the wow. And it's super fun. It's not glossy, it's not ready. All right. So now it's nice and glossy. No double image. I really like using the Cricut mat to stabilize my paper. And what I'll do with this is put it in a book and it'll be flat. And whenever I have a chance, I'll go back and I'll color it. And then I can decide to die cut it. This would be great for a simile. Now, if you don't have a big misty, you can use other. Uh, this will work on others. And I even went to the Dollar Tree and purchased a grip, a uh, standard grip mat from them, and it's Crafter Square, but it doesn't work as good as the Cricut mat, so um, it's just not real sticky. It is blue, so that means it's less sticky, but you need one that's going to really hold your paper down, and uh, so if you have a smaller stamping platform, then I have a Cricut Joy and I would get these mats here because they're, they're sticky. <laughs> they're real sticky. A um, lot more so than those. But I, I like the green. I just use the green for everything uh, when I'm doing um, like my Cricut Joy or my Cricut um, Maker 3. I use the green mat. I hardly ever use the blue because sometimes it'll slip. It's not real strong. So I'm not real... I don't like them. I mean, it's, this would work alright and you could always get you... Let me get that right quick. You could always get you some uh, tack it over and over and put your put it on your mat and then let it dry and uh, use it that way because a lot of people do that to uh, get their mat to stick again because after you put paper over them on over it and over it and reuse it and reuse it it'll get less sticky so 
if you want to save money, you're going to have to buy this and this. If um, This is $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure how much Tack It Over is. I bought this years ago. It's lasted a long time. But if it were me, Cricut Joy mats aren't that expensive. I would buy it. That's what I'm doing now. I'm using them to hold my papers. And if you can see how sticky that is, it is sticky. But it doesn't hurt your paper. This back on. That's back on it now. And I'll clean my stamps. You know, if you have any questions or you you want to know more, um, if you have something that you would like shown, if you don't understand something, then by all means, please let me know. But I just thought of it. Um, I use my Cricut not every day, but close to it. And um, it really, I love their mats. Their mats are really good. So, uh, you know, it works. No double image. It, it really, I like it. Now, you may not, you may like the, the, uh, the magnets. Um, to me, they just get in the way. This way you can stamp your whole paper and not be worried with it. You cannot leave the paper on there and emboss because that heat and these do not mix. You do not heat this mat up. It is for cutting and keeping paper down. It is not for uh, heat, and heat embossing. You don't do it. But you can, I've um, watercolor with it. I've done different mixed medias with it, and it works really, really good. That's all for this video. I just wanted to come on here and show this to you. God bless each of you. And please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what else you would like to see. And if you need some help, don't hesitate. Please let me know. Take care, everyone. Until next time, bye for now.